Hey y'all, let's finally chat about how to mod for Dragon Age Origins. I've got to warn you in advance, this is going to be a longer video for me as it includes three different methods of modding for two different modding file types, all for Dragon Age Origin. I'll leave timestamps in the description so you can jump to whatever you need quickly. And with that being said, let's get started. Before modding for DAO, like any other Dragon Age game, you're going to need to make sure you have some kind of file opening program. I personally prefer to use something like 7-Zip or WinRAR. This will open up both the .rar files you may come across as well as the .zip files you'll find. I'll leave a link in the description below for the 7-Zip website in case you need it. Now, depending on the mod you want to install will depend on which modding method you need to use, and you can absolutely use both types of mods in the game whenever you'd like to. If you read the mod description, you'll either see that it's a .da zip or to drop it into your override folder. The override folder is the same method that we use in DA2 modding and is the simplest, so we'll cover that first. The first thing you want to do is download your mod of choice that you'll need for the override folder. For testing out mod purposes, I suggest starting off with something simple so you can see it and or acquire it in game as quickly as possible. So something like a single character creation mod, a companion overhaul, an armor that gets directly added into either your stash or your inventory would be best. Next, you'll need to create an override folder. Most people create their override folder in their documents, then Bioware, then Dragon Age, Packages, Core Folder, and within that, we'll create an override folder. All you have to do is simply right-click in that core folder, select New Folder, and name it Override. Make sure that the word Override is all one word. However, I personally do things a little differently and have mine installed in my actual game folder, which is located wherever your game is stored, which will depend if you're on Steam or you're on Origin, and then go to Dragon Age, Packages, Core, create override folder there by right clicking in the core folder and selecting new folder and name it override. Once again, make sure it's all one word. I haven't found a difference in modding in one location versus the other as far as installing mods go. So pick whichever location you're most comfortable with to create your override folder. Once you have an override folder created, it's time to install your mod. Simply unzip or open up your .rar file using the method of your choice. You should find either a folder nestled inside with a whole bunch of files inside of it, a single file, or a whole bunch of just loose files. For the single file and or the folder nestled inside, you can simply drag and drop them into your override folder. However, if you found yourself with a bunch of loose files, you can do one of two things. Either drag and drop them all into your override folder as is, or you can create your own folder for the mod inside of the override folder and drag them all into that new folder that you've made, which is personally what I do to keep things organized. To uninstall a mod, simply delete it from your override folder. Now let's move on to the DA zip method of installing mods. There are two different ways to install, uninstall, and do a few other things with these DAZIP mods. The first is a manual installation, and the other is using the mod manager. I personally usually install manually, but then if I need to either uninstall or make a change to a mod because it has that option available, I'll use the mod manager. But it's totally up to you which method that you use. We'll start with the manual installation process first. You'll need to find a DAZIP mod of choice. Like before, I recommend installing one mod that's easy to show if it's been installed or not and working within your game. Download it and unpack it. With DAZIP files, you usually can't drag and drop them from an OpenZIP or .rar file, so you need to drag and drop or unpack it to a different location first, and then what you'll want to do is navigate over to your Dragon Age game folder then click on the bin ship folder inside of it. Within that, you should see a daupdater.exe application. Click on it to open it. Once that's open, drag and drop your .dazip file into the content updater. Select it when it shows up and then hit install selected to install it. You can alternatively hit the select dazip option below and navigate over to the mod that way and install it. You can install multiple DA zips using this method at once by dragging them all into the updater and then selecting them all and hitting install selected. You'll notice the status change from ready to install to installing to installed when it's all completed. Make sure each of your .za zip mods aren't installing and instead are installed before closing out of the program. Then you can load into your game and see if it all works. 
Up next, let's talk about how to use the mod manager to install a DA zip file. You'll need to head over to the Nexus website and download the DAO mod manager that's available. Download it and unpack it to your drive slash location of choice. You can instead use your program of choice to open it, but not unpack it and copy the files in there and then paste them into an empty folder wherever you want it installed. You don't need this mod manager installed in the same drive as your DAO game. Either way, I'd highly suggest making sure that you name this folder something easy to remember, such as DAO Mod Manager. Once that's done, open up the EXE to view the Mod Manager and head into the Options tab. Here, you can set up the correct program file paths, game paths, etc. If for whatever reason your first set of folder paths for the Mod Manager aren't working or you can't find those folders, you can just add an override and DA zip folder into the Mod folder for the Mod Manager manually and then manually navigate over there. At this point, just make sure everything is set up correctly and if any of the file paths are incorrect, just make sure you manually navigate over to where it needs to be. When you've completed that, head over to the mod section tab. You can then take any unpacked DA zip file, like I mentioned for the other method, and drag and drop it into the DA zip section. If you try to dump it into the override section, it will yell at you that this isn't an override file. So just be careful where you drop it. It'll then ask if you want to install it and you can hit yes. You may also see official DLCs in the section like Awakening, Stone Prisoner, etc. And that is totally normal. You can use this mod manager to install your override files as well instead of the method I mentioned above. I personally have no experience with this, but as long as you drag and drop them into the override section, it should install with no problems. Just test it out with one mod to start if you'd like to use this method to ensure that everything works. With this mod manager, you can also edit the settings or options for certain mods that have that available. Simply right click on it and click config or follow the mod page instructions for that. To uninstall DA zip files, you have two options. The first is to use the mod manager, right click on a DA zip file and then select uninstall. The other is to manually delete it yourself. You can do that by heading to your documents, then Bioware, then Dragon Age, and then Add-ins folder. This is the folder where all of your DA zips are located, so you can simply delete whichever folder you need to from here to uninstall it. Just be careful you don't uninstall something you need accidentally. You can also uninstall a DA zip without getting rid of it from your game files, so you can go back to it whenever you'd like without having to go through the whole process of installing it again. This is handy to do if you want to test something out or if you have two different playthroughs going and you don't want X mod to run uh, to show for this run. You can, of course, do this in two different ways. You can untick the mods in the DAO mod manager or you can go into your game, hit downloadable content in the main menu and untick whatever content you don't want to show up in the game currently. A few things to note when modding for Dragon Age Origin. Always, and I do mean always read the mod description before installing, especially because this game has so many different ways of modding. Also, you want to make note if there are any special instructions, known issues, conflicts, or required mods to make this mod that you're trying to install work. And if you're trying to install multiple character creation mods, you'll need to update your Charge and Morph file, either manually or with the Charge and Morph compiler that you can get from Nexus. If you have a lot of mods installed and one mod isn't showing, it's possible that you have two mods that show or do the same thing and they're conflicting. Usually if you have mods that are conflicting, whichever mod loads into the game last is whichever one takes priority. So that could be where the issue is coming from. One more important thing to note, if you are finding that your DAO isn't syncing to the Dragon Age Keep website, it could be because you're using the DAO console and have it enabled. Simply undo whichever method that you used in order to unlock it, sync your game to the keep, and now everything should show just fine in the Dragon Age keep. You can then re-enable the console after. You will, however, have to do this every single time you want to sync your DAO game to the Dragon Age keep. Phew! We made it to the end. I hope that this helped if you were having any trouble modding for any of the different methods for DAO. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vid. Bye.